Chapter 126 Spiritual Entertainment Questioner What about the Kundalini and Chakras? Maharaj This Chakra, that Chakra, there is no Chakra. This dry knowledge is momentary entertainment. There were no Chakras prior to being this. What do you mean by Kundalini? This is just connected with the body. You're beyond that, beyond that. Don't become a slave of literal knowledge. Look within you. Everything is open. Thousands of books exist, thousands of concepts. Everybody is asking you to do this thing or that thing. Why? There is no deed. There is no doer. This knowledge is exceptional and it is yours. But the ego is not allowing you to claim it. It is stopping you from breaking the circle of illusionary thoughts. You are still looking for salvation. Why salvation when you are already free? Why liberation? There was no liberation prior to beingness. You are bound to your own thoughts and concepts. Questioner, but we have to use the body to know selfless self, don't we? Maharaj, you have to use the body, it is a medium. Spirit only knows itself through the body. It does not know that I am Brahman, God. I am not the body, I am Mahatma, said Shankara. He lived by his conviction of being Brahman. This conviction leads to knowledge. Your presence is very valuable. Don't waste your time with this kundalini talk and chakras. Questioner What is the meaning of upasana? Maharaj, you are not a baby. Why do you want to know? What you are reading in books is not upasana. Don't be a slave of literal knowledge. You are not a beginner. Questioner Is time only in the memory? Maharaj, whose memory? Questioner Time must be in the memory because without the memory there is no time. Maharaj, if you consider yourself in body form, then there is memory, time, karma, etc. But prior to beingness, was there any karma? Were you reading the Gita? You have to bow down to yourself. Bow down means bow down to that through which you know your selfless self. It is a spontaneous act. When you talk about mukti, upasana, chakras or whatever, you are talking about the unborn child. Forget about the unborn child and remember your greatness. I told you, you're a magician. You have the key to open the magic box to the whole world that is within you. These processes of meditation, bhajan, etc. are there because you forgot your greatness. Even after knowing the knowledge, you still want to go elsewhere. You are rich with millions of rupees and yet you keep saying, give me one rupee. The golden plate has already been given to you. But you are using that plate for begging. Knowledge is there. Reality is in front of you, inside you, around you, everywhere. How many times do I have to say the same thing? That is why continuous hammering is necessary. Listen to me. There is no prarabdha, karma, 
destiny. Through meditation and its vibrations, you will, like a baby chicken, peck through the hard shell and break through. You are Brahman, you are Atman. All the searching, where am I, where am I, when you are here all the time? Nisargadatta Maharaj used to say, There's no way, no death, no ways, no path. You are always with you. Direct hammering. You are the final terminus. You are only adding confusion if you are still tempted to go elsewhere after knowing the reality. For how much longer are you going to keep visiting so many places when you, the visitor, are yourself ultimate truth? The visitor is ultimate truth. All you have to do is visit your own sight. This is not intellectual knowledge, it is reality. Questioner, how are we to live? What is the best way? Maharaj, I have told you how to live. Live like sky. Sky does not know its own existence. It is unknown to itself. Your presence is unknown presence. Nisargadatta Maharaj used to say, The real is unknown to you, so live like that and it will not be a problem for you. How are you to live? How will you be when the body dissolves? Forget the past also. No present, no future, no past. What you have done so far, just drop it. It brought you to your final destiny. Knowledge is not concerned with what you are doing or what you are eating. Anything taken to excess is poison. Don't take the literal meanings. Don't get caught up in restrictions and struggles of do's and don'ts. Don't take on the ego of being a doer. You cannot do anything. Questioner. This is a hard one to remember all the time. Maharaj. It is not hard. It is simple. If your body wants food, feed it, but not excessively. Too much liberty is poison. Respect yourself and respect others. Be humble and charitable to keep the subtle ego in check. Say no to the ego. All the saints are humble. Be like them. All the saints are within you. You are making them out to be separate and different from you. Oneness is all there is. You are to teach yourself Just like you teach yourself Hatha Yoga, realise that nothing is impossible. Accept that reality. It is within you. That masterly essence is in you. Then you will finally stop roaming. The Master introduced you to God, showed you God. That is why Kabir bowed down to his master. Don't be a slave to somebody's thoughts. Questioner. I still see myself as me and others as them. Maharaj. Can you see the seer? You cannot see the seer because the seer is ultimate truth. This is body-related talk. There is no God except you. God does not have its own existence. Stop imagining the body form. You're not the body, but the holder of the body. You're not to imagine the body form. You're not the body builder, but the body holder. 
Use your internal vision to see. Be spiritually strong. Your body knowledge has to dissolve completely. Keep reciting the Nam. You are the projector of the world, not the projections. The questioner is invisible. The questioner itself is the answer. Keep it simple. To say illusion is also illusion. Don't do anything. You did not do anything prior to beingness. How can you know your presence if you can't use the body or mind? Simply look at you. Look at that which is witnessing all these thoughts. You are trying to know yourself with an illusionary body base. Impossible. Know yourself as you were prior to beingness. How was that? You say, I don't know. This negative answer has come from a positive. I don't know means I know, but I was not in any form. The knowing is the presence, the I am. You know that you don't know. To put it simply, it is like the example of children playing when one says, knock, knock, who's there? And the other child says, no one. Here, the one who answers nobody or no one means simply that somebody has to be there first in order to say nobody. Live like that anonymous, invisible, unidentified presence. People sometimes come here as if they are visiting a showroom. They sit like statues, completely untouched and unmoved. It is like they are gathering information in a cold manner, statistics for a survey. Their egos are not letting them come out of their circle to wonder at the greatness of my masters. They show no respect to them. These talks, this reality, should touch people's hearts. One visitor has been here for a week and I don't see any effect showing on his face. He's still a statue. He is still here, but I don't see any change taking place. He remains a statue.